Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and uh, yeah, welcome to this new segment that I'm doing. Uh, this is where I'm going to be reacting to things that are kind of recommended, instead of kind of like your, your movies or your TV shows. Maybe something that you like yourselves, uh, maybe if it's a comedian or it's a movie trailer or, you know, uh, a travel show, I don't, I don't know. Because it's going to be something that you recommend to me, either it's, uh, you know, it could be on YouTube or if you want to follow the link below to our Discord, you can have a look in there as well and you can send it directly. So yeah, um, this is a, it's kind of a segment that I wasn't, uh, that I wasn't really at all that I had in mind. It was um, Phoebe from the Discord had said, look, why don't you react to this person? And then I kind of got us thinking as to, like, this is a good idea. Just moving forward, like, if there's anything that you want us to react to, then I'm more than happy to do that. Yeah. So the first one is going to be Captain Disillusion. Now, I have had a look on his channel. I don't know. I've never seen him before. I don't know what he's like. I know that he's got kind of over 2 million followers, so he must be pretty good. Now, what he does, he finds these viral videos that go around um, that seem to fool the public, but they don't fool him. And he... And uh, yeah, he lets us know why they are fake in his own very unique way. He's uh, very, very good, apparently. Uh, he's it, it, got a great personality, great persona. He's also very good at editing and computers and CGI and stuff. So I'm excited. Uh, the first episode is a jet fighter says hi. So I think I, I, I think I do know this clip. It's where there's a jet flying in and somebody kind of looks and then it flies off. Now. If that's the one, that would be great because I have seen it. So for him to kind of explain how that's fake, it'll be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are liking the channel, remember just hit that like button and give us a subscri subscribe. If it does help the channel out a lot. And I will have a little chat with you at the end of this episode just to let you know what I thought of Captain Disillusion. The problem with the world is that different people know different amounts of <laughs> things about things. As an expert in visual effects who never makes any mistakes ever, what? I might look at an amusing video like this and eventually spot a series of visual clues that would lead me to suspect it's fake. A different what? person, say with nine years experience in the Air Force, might find other reasons to doubt its authenticity. And of course, with your brilliance, you just know it's fake right away and will make a point of saying that under every single one of my <laughs> videos. But what if we're a hypothetical person who doesn't know anything? Can we systematically figure out if it's real without any inside information? What? Yes, we can. Let's make a list of the things we definitely know or can reasonably assume. The video moves at 24 frames per second. Well, 25, but a frame repeats at the end of every second, so I think it was improperly exported at some point during all the rampant reposting. Seriously, I can't even find the original source. A wide field of view camera mounted inside the tiny cockpit probably means it's a GoPro. There are different models and their focal lengths amazing. range from 14 to 34 millimeters, so let's estimate 24. And the jet appears to be a McDonnell Douglas F-18 Hornet, which is 55 feet long. I know that because I consulted some people who worked in and around similar aircraft. Seeking informed opinions of experts in the field is very useful at this stage. You never know what you're gonna get. A no-nonsense F-4 Phantom II pilot from the 80s might take one look and bark, it's a cartoonish fake! <laughs> Or, retired Lieutenant Colonel David Beaker Kent might examine the video frame by frame and give you a multi-page dissertation detailing every possible technical <laughs> issue, from the large control surface deflection that would be required at such slow cruising speeds not seen in the aileron motions of the jet, to the fact that the attachment points on the bizarre arsenal of munitions it's carrying <laughs> each have specific G-force limits that would not stand up to these maneuvers, intercept procedures, fuel requirements, FAA regulations, his report is a work of art, <laughs> which I'll take into consideration. But eventually, we're going to have to conduct our own analysis. Knowing the focal length, the frame rate, and the size of the aircraft is actually enough for us to plot its relative motion in 3D space. Wow. When I line up this 55-foot-long virtual measuring stick with the jet on the first frame of its breakaway maneuver, it ends up 39 meters away from the camera. When I do it again 10 frames later, it's 139 meters away. The jet traveled 100 meters in 0.4 seconds. Now, the average nerd experiences G-force-induced loss of consciousness after 4 to 6 G. Wait 
elevator ruin the curve. With special <laughs> equipment, trained pilots can handle as high as 9G. But in this moment, as our jet accelerates at 240 meters per second squared, the pilot would experience over 24G. And the vertical climb looks even more severe. Even I would get slightly lightheaded. <laughs> Real life jets move in slow motion by comparison. Here's what an actual wave by an F-15 looks like. And here's a real brake maneuver. This one's from a video by Destin from Smarter Every Day, back when he took a ride in a T-38 training jet. In fact, you know what? I better call him up and ask for permission to use that. <laughs> hey Destin, how's it going? Doing great, Captain. How you doing? That video you have about experiencing G-forces in a jet must have been fun to make, huh? This guy's yeah, really I mean, good. Yeah, it's a fighter jet. That's like the definition of like fast and exciting and yeah, it's awesome. Cool, cool. So listen, do you mind if I use a little piece of that in my own video? Yeah, of course. I love your work, man. I I'll credit you, of course. You know, throw a link to your channel, give you a little bit of exposure. Ex exposure. One second. What? <laughs> Ask me again. Go. Can I use your video in my video? Absolutely, but when you do, make sure you look at the pixels on the ailerons, because as the plane moves, you can see no, the no, You know what? I'm not going to stand here and pretend like this is not insulting. <laughs> In what universe did you think it's okay for you to just, just dress up like someone and make fun of the way they talk? I'm not making fun of you. This is an homage. You, I mean, you remember the video you made, right? You saw that? That's completely different, okay? That was for comedy and satire. I was in character, and it's, you know what? I don't want to talk about this, all right? Thank you very much for the permission. I'm going to let you go. I have a lot Remember, of- Remember, Captain, love with your brain and not your heart. That's not even the way it goes. <clears throat> anyway. Once we're finished with all the objective analysis, it's time to apply our own special expertise. I know one thing. If this was done with visual effects, then the lazyology principle applies. The creator probably didn't build a fighter jet model from scratch or even render a complex 3D scene. Why bother when they could use a fast and easy After Effects plugin? Maybe Element 3D supplemented with the Jet Strike library pack. Maybe they just browsed the assets and clicked on one, say, Supersonic Jet O2, a fully textured and articulated model, picked an appropriate HDRI, and roughly matched the lighting based on the angle of shadows in the footage. They knew matching the plane's motion to the wobbling environment outside would give it that extra realism kick. When we stabilize the background, the plane what? stabilizes with it, and we can see just how simple and stilted its animation really is. What the creator didn't take into account is the the distortion the wide GoPro lens adds to the image. When we compensate for it, the image straightens out, but the jet gets distorted in the opposite right. way. It wasn't really there. As for the pilot, I'm not sure if he was miming these actions on purpose or just reacting to something else. He's certainly not behaving the way you'd expect in this situation. But now, thanks to all our meticulous research and analysis, we can stage a more true-to-life recreation of this incident. And I think it would go a little something like this. We'll have a chat. So that's a fighter jet says hi. Uh, I loved it. I loved it. And he got an immediate sub from me. Um, just just the way he does things, the way he talks, the way I like I like his persona. I like how he's dressed. Um, he's extremely talented. Uh, as not as, as not just a YouTube creator, uh, video creator, but he's also very good at how he kind of engages. Um, yes, like he, he got an immediate sub. So I think somebody kind of, anybody who watches that would be, and I'd be very surprised if you don't go on there and look and check out other stuff that he's got. And please help yourself. Go and have a look at some ones that you think that I might like uh, and and send them over to me because I won't watch any on my own, even though I'm very, very tempted um, because I would hate for years to send me one and go, oh, you need to watch this one. And I go, oh, I watched it just off camera. So I won't watch any. Um, I just want to give a massive shout out to him and obviously I'm going to be putting all the links in the description. This video will not be monetized either because I'm not going to make any money from uh, another content creator stuff. Um, yeah, just please go and visit him and have a look. 
and uh, I thought that was great. I thought I thought it was brilliant. And uh, yeah, if there's anything else that you that you, like, you can think of that you, that I would like that you'd like me to watch, just uh, yeah, just drop us a message either on YouTube or like I mentioned at the beginning, click the link below, uh, go over to the Discord and join up and have a huge community over there. Uh, which you uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll enjoy. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will catch you all very, very soon for the next episode.